Hey guys, welcome to this brand new video. So in this video I'm going to be trying to make a bond from scratch. So I'm going to create an account and then I'm going to try and make enough money to buy a bond from free play methods only. Bonds are currently at 17 mil right now so it's pretty expensive. Hopefully I can uh, do it fairly fast. I'm going to try and do it as fast as possible. So uh, yeah, here we go. So I decided the first thing I wanted to do to make some really quick money, I just saw these guys killing cows, they weren't picking up the loot, so I decided I would pick up the their loot and then I'll head to the Grand Exchange and sell it to get my first starting cash stack. So here we go, just got my starting cash stack. As you can see I got 17k, so that's pretty nice to start. Um, uh, I'm not really sure what I'll do next. I think I might go get some woad leaves actually because that is a really good method. So I'm here at the guy that sells the wood leaves. So you're going to want to click the buy, uh, ask about wood leaves and then uh, give him 20 coins because then he will give you two wood leaves. Uh, I actually put it wrong in my free to play guide. I said to put 15 because he gives you one, but if you actually say 20, he will give you two. So that this increases the profit by a lot. You can actually get like 1.5 mil per hour here doing this. It's really click and tets boring, but uh, I'm going to try and do it for a fairly decent amount of time, make some decent money. So here we go. I just finished buying 350 woad leaves. It took me about half an hour. So I'm going to just test 10 of them and sell 10 for 10k to see what the price is right now. I know uh, Last time when I did this, it sold for uh, 2k when I tested it for my free to play money making guide. So uh, we'll just see what the price is. Hints to sold is good for 20k or 2k each. So I'll sell them all for 2k each. It's very nice. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just leave those ones in for the 2k. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, I probably should just leave it since I won't be needing the money right now. But uh, next I think I'm going to go do some Varrock shop runs because those seem to be pretty good money as well. So there, I just finished buying a bunch of stuff from the shops and you can see my world leaves sold. I mostly focused on Zaf, Horvik, and Thessalia, so got some staffs there, some bark worth a little bit, fine cloth. Um, I bought a lot of stuff, a lot of different stuff, just to try out what, what uh, made the most money. The staffs are really good. These uh, wizard robes are really good. The priest gowns don't sell. White aprons probably don't sell, I don't think. Um, most of these items, I make, like, I think I make profit off all of them, unless they just don't sell. Like those priest gowns, I might lose money. It's good, nice insta sell. So uh, I'll just uh, fast forward to when I'm done selling all this, see how much I have for a nice starting cash stack. So there we go, I sold everything off 883k. So that's pretty good to start. I'm gonna buy some uh, uh, some arrow shafts and feathers, gonna fletch some headless arrows. I think this is all right money, so uh, I'll try it out for a little bit. Probably won't fletch too many though. So here I'm. I just bought uh, 10k for each, and uh, I should make about 100k profit off this. So I'll just start doing that. So I finished the 10k arrows, 980k, but I decided to start spinning. I got this Ocean Archer's Body Hands token. Um, so I'm hoping that can sell for quite a bit. And some planks, a bunch of random stuff. Shadow Gem Cape token. That looks really good. Um, I'll check how much that was worth after. Just gonna get some more of these. Okay, so I'm kind of curious here, and it's 20.5 mil. Are you serious? Now it's 300k. There's no way that sells for 20 mil though. Okay, I'm gonna go check that out. There's no way I got an item worth that much. 
on a brand new free to play account. Um, so yeah, I'll just check this out, see how much it's worth, and uh, hopefully I can get quite a bit out of it. Uh, that would really shorten up this uh, kind of mini series. I'm not sure if I should include it or not, but but we'll see how much I can get for it. So I just finished selling it in the Grand Exchange. Someone actually offered me 15 mil for it, but with the trade limit I couldn't sell it. But I did end up selling it for 4.6 mil, so that is really good. And the Archer token thing sold for 200k. I also got some more world leaves. So right now I'm at 2.3 mil. And then with this stuff, uh, I'm at a little over 7 mil. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. That was really lucky that I got it out of the spin. Um, it really, really helps. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if I should include it in the money for the bond or not. I kind of want to just because these free-to-play methods are really brutal and you have to really grind to make money. So I'm not really sure right now. Um, I'll just keep the 7 mil for now, I guess, and I'll flip some prayer pots, hopefully. It's, uh, and hopefully I make a quite a bit of money off this. I'll probably uh, buy some more items from the shop or get more wood leaves or something while I'm waiting for these to buy. So I decided I would get my magic up just a little bit. I'm going to try the corpse spiders. I hear they are pretty good money. So I'm going to just try and get like 25 magic or something. Uh, I'm killing the trolls in birth orb. These are really good for any low level training. They have 50 health and give you 40 XP per kill. So that is really, really nice. Um, so I'll kill these for a little bit and see what level I can get up to. So there we go, guys. We just got 25 magic. So uh, now I'm going to go try kill some corpse spiders and see how much money we can make from uh, killing them. So we got to quickly do this blood pack quest. Shouldn't take too long. Five minutes tops, so uh, yeah, let's just do this. So the quest is complete, and we are here at the Corpse Spiders. I just got a full inventory of Spider Silk, and uh, I'm kind of disappointed. They aren't as much money as I thought they would be. They're really not worth it, I don't think. I think when this used to be a good method, they must have been worth a lot more. Um, I'm kind of surprised. I thought this was a lot better than it was. I wouldn't really suggest doing this, so uh, I'm not going to kill any more. i kind of just waste my time getting my magic up, I guess. So I just decided to go back and get some more wood leaves after the uh, coarse spiders didn't really turn out too well. I also got some more items from the Varric shop. Got some springs from the daily spin, which is really nice. That's quite a bit of profit right there. I'm getting pretty lucky on these spins, um, so I'm happy about that. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys get lucky if you create a new account. And so I'll just sell these wood leaves for 2k and sell the rest of my items again. And we're getting up there in cash now, guys. Almost going to hit that green cash stack. So I decided to go get some more wood leaves while I waited for all these items to sell. So I'll just collect the money from the previous offers, and I'm up to just about 9 mill so I got 1500 wood leaves here I'll sell them for 2k each that should be a little bit over 3 mil and I'm doing these wood leaves so much just because they are such good money and I'm really actually like I don't really mind doing it you can do it uh, it's kind of a monotonous task and uh, you don't need to think much so I usually just do it when I'm watching some TV or something like that just click uh, the buttons and it's pretty fast, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably do this a little more. It's just such good money that uh, really there's nothing else worth doing. But I'll try to fit some other methods in just to finish off the 70 mil as well. So the world lead sold again, and I managed to get even more, as well as some items from the Varric shop. So I'll just collect that. And we are up to 12 mil. So that is really nice. Our first green cash stack here. Um, I'll put the wood leaves in. Uh, I got a lot this time. And the wood leaves actually don't take too long to sell. Um, 
they usually take a few hours, but it's not too bad. So I wouldn't suggest cutting the price. Like you can actually sell it for 2K. Just leave it. Be patient. Go get some more while you're waiting. Uh, but it really doesn't take very long at all. So I'll just uh, sell these items and see what I have after that. So I decided I would try something else out. I bought some flax off the Grand Exchange and I'm just going to be spinning it in the Lumberge Castle partly because it gives gets my crafting level up a bit. I need a level 2 to do the uh, to a tan dragon hide leather or dragon hide 2 leather. So um, I decided I'd buy a little bit more to make a bit of profit off this. I just wanted to show this money making method to you guys just in case you wanted to do it. It is pretty decent XP for a uh, low level or beginner player so it's a nice method to kind of do especially starting out for cash would probably be best but uh, yeah I mean it's it's alright I, I totally might it's kind of AFK um, but uh, yeah it's not really super great for money which is why I probably won't do it much uh, much rather just get a bunch of money and just do the world leaves even though it's pretty boring and monotonous so now that I got my crafting up a bit, I decided I would tan some dragon leather. This is where the tanner is in Varrock. A portable uh, crafter would be so much better to use, but I couldn't find one. I might end up buying one pretty soon um, just to get it, but right now I'll tan a little bit of dragon hide uh, just from this crafter. I, I believe I'm making about 3 or 4k uh, profit every inventory so it's not too bad it's not great either uh, I'll price check it here is about a little over 50k and you just tan it to costs about 500 to tan it and it's worth 54 55k so yeah about four four or five k profit um, every inventory it's not too bad the um, portable crafter would make this so much faster and so much more you'd make so much more profit per hour um, so I might end up uh, buying one if I can't find one, someone, uh, place one somewhere. Hey guys, so uh, I tried to get some dragon hide so I could uh, tan that, but there weren't any portable crafters around. And also I got some more wood leaves to sell, so I'm up to 15 mil. I'm going to try and do some dragon hide when I see a crafter up, a portable crafter, because it makes it so much faster. Um... But uh, anyway, I'm getting pretty close to the bond, so I could just do some more wood leaves to finish it out. But uh, first I'll try some other meth methods um, just to see how these other methods work. Um, so yeah, I'll just make that little bit of extra money so I can actually buy this bond here. Hey guys, so I managed to get a portable crafter. I bought one my own, uh, myself and... Uh, I bought quite a bit of dragon leather, a thousand, um, and it's actually really fast to actually tan this. So all you do is go bank, you click uh, the number one on your keyboard if, because it's set to my preset one, and then I go to the tanner, just press space, and I just over and over again. It's actually a really good profit. I'm making, I think it's about 150 GP every... Uh, piece of dragon hide so that is really really good um, I think this method actually makes you more than mode leaves per hour but it does require some starting cash so right now I have quite a bit of good, uh, good amount of cash to actually do this um, I believe I make uh, about 100 I'll make about 100k profit selling off the uh, dragon leather which is pretty good just gonna test the profit margin here so I'll buy that and sell it and I'll sell it for the price I bought it at so uh, yeah this is actually a really good method um, I might do more of it depending on the portable crafter of course because I, I don't like buying my own but I can if I have to it, it does cut into the profit some but um, uh, in the meantime I might go do some more Ferric shop runs or something, and hopefully I see another portable crafter up uh, soon. Hey guys, so the dragon leather sold, and as you can see, I made 
pretty decent profit off that 100k it took under like maybe two minutes so that was nice um, and I got some more world leaves and this should be able to uh, make put me up to 17 mil so hopefully when these sell I can finally buy that bond so the world leaves have finally sold it did take uh, a while I actually left it overnight someone undercut me by 1 GP so I just put it uh, uh, to that price and just waited but it uh, sold finally so this is actually like the fourth day I've created this account now so it really didn't take too long to make this money um, also with this uh, beer I just sold you can sell that uh, or you can actually buy that from the beer uh, bartender in Verrock I did that just to try it out it is pretty decent money so uh, definitely try that out uh, if you're looking to make a little bit of money, it's about 20k per inventory, but it's all like the world leaves. You're talking to them and just buying it like, like that, clicking the options and stuff. So it's not too fun. So let's just sell these black black uh, plate skirts, and I will put the offer in for the bond. I believe it's still 17 mil. So there it is. I have. 17.6 mil so I'll just try and buy it here at the uh, great exchange price not gonna buy um, I think I'll bump it up a little bit and see if I can just get it right now so let's abort that and I'll put it up for um, maybe 17.45 uh, mil maybe should be good enough so 17.45 mil buy and here we go still hasn't bought and there it is finally bought a bond so uh, that is uh, that is it for this uh, episode I guess or this this video I've gotten the bond from scratch I can get the membership now. I don't know what I will do with this bond. Um, I might, uh, I might make it for a, or use it for a Iron Man series. I could make a bond from scratch um, with a pay-to-play -pay account, member account, or I could uh, do a giveaway. So you guys, let me know what you guys want in the comments below, and uh, I'll pick between those. Um, but as you can see here, these are my stats. After getting this bond, I, I didn't do that much. Um, actually, I didn't actually get that many skills up. Just because the world leaves don't require any skills. I uh, did a little bit of fletching for the headless arrows. Um, and uh, magic. I got magic up just so I could try the corpse spiders. Although that didn't work out too well. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I got crafting up for the dragon hide. And that is about it. So just before I end this video, I just wanted to show you guys some stats. I have uh, played this account for 14 hours now, and it's about four days old, and I managed to get the bond at this time. This wouldn't have been without uh, my uh, luck with the uh, uh, Wheel of Fortune, I guess. Um, I was able to get the uh, Shadow Gem Cape, which I sold for 4.5 mil. That was kind of... A big chunk of this money. I also got a lot of world leads just because these are so good and uh, so good uh, at making money. Um, as you can see, it kind of reflects on my stats. I didn't really get my stats up very much at all, um, which uh, is pretty bad. I got uh, fletching, and that was because the headless arrows and I magic up, even though that didn't up didn't end up making me any money at all. But uh, yeah, guys, this is. This is it for this uh, video, and let me know in the comments down below what you think I should do with this bond, and uh, uh, any videos in the future maybe. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.